you want to win friends and influence people, that's what this next dish is all about. This is called prawn tang. Um, it's one of my dad's signature dishes. It's one of his favorite recipes. Um, he grew up in the ocean city of Karachi and they would feast on fish and seafood and prawns were always on the menu, but mainly on Friday. And what they would do is they would go to the market, grab a load of prawns, barter with the fishmongers, take a sack full of prawns back home where their mother, my grandmother, would go and prepare the biggest and the most tastiest seafood feast. So what we've got is we've got about kind of six medium sized tomatoes and all of these things just go into our blender. One, two, three, four, five, six. And all of that's gonna reduce and sort of come down in a bit. We're gonna take three of these chaps green finger chilies. Top those off, those go into our blender. We're also going to take about four garlic cloves. And these are peeled garlic cloves, they go into our blender as well. We're going to take about two to three inches of freshly peeled ginger. We take two heat tablespoons of curry powder, just a medium strength curry powder. We then add just a touch about, about sort of a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder and that gives a real kind of sense of sourness that you're looking for. We're going to sweeten it up a little bit later but that goes into our blender as well. We add just a pinch of salt. We put in about 250 ml of water and we blitz it. Now we're also going to add into our curry paste I've got two onions here cut into halves. So I'm just going to put two thirds in to the mix. Couldn't put them in earlier because there wasn't enough room in the blender. So I'm just going to add that, blitz it all up. And what you start to get is a really lovely pulpy kind of curry paste coming together. I'm going to heat up some oil and then we're going to spoon in some black mustard seeds and also some fenugreek seeds. So into our pan, over about kind of a medium heat, 150 ml, 200 ml of oil there. And I'm gonna take about sort of, and I've mixed up the seeds. I've got fenugreek seeds and I've got black mustard seeds and they're gonna go into the pan. So what will start to happen is they'll start to fizz and pop away. They'll start to flavor this oil with a little bit of sourness as well, but we're not going to let it cook for too long. We just want them to start to fizz away and start popping. And what it does with the oil is it makes it a really nice warming kind of scent. In goes our, in goes our spice mix. So this paste has been simmering away now for about sort of 10 minutes and it's become slightly more gloopy actually and a bit thicker uh, and a bit more reduced. So it's really intensified uh, in its consistency. And what we're going to add to the mix is we're going to take just about sort of half a teaspoon to begin with of sugar and we're just going to taste it in a little bit uh, because that's going to complement and combat the sharpness of about um, a tablespoon of just ordinary malt vinegar and that's going to add a real sharpness to the dish and then we add coconut powder and what the coconut powder does it just kind of smooths out the edges a little bit just kind of refines the dish so there's two teaspoons quite big teaspoons heat teaspoons of coconut powder and we're going to add a couple of teaspoons of ground garam masala and I'm going to let that cook for just another couple of minutes. These prawns have been marinating now for about an hour in the fridge, half a teaspoon of chilli powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric and they just simply slop into the pan. Now I'm using pre-cooked prawns and if you're using pre-cooked prawns you know they need to be in the pan for about sort of five minutes. If you're using raw uncooked prawns you probably want to double that time anywhere between sort of eight to ten minutes these prawns are going to cook for about sort of as i say about sort of five minutes and you'll know when it's cooked because 
The prawns will come out really nice and pink and they'll start to look a little bit creamy as well. And the oil will start to rise to the surface. What I'm going to do now, that is ready to plate up. So we're just going to spritz it with just a little bit of fresh lemon juice over the top there. So now we're just going to finish it off with just a little bit of freshly chopped coriander. Just a sprinkle over the top. So let's just plate that up. So there we have it, prawn tang. It's the dish to win friends and influence people. And it certainly worked for my dad.